Tougher and tougher for the girls in green. Strong tie hole from the covers as Deepika is happy. Yeah, and this should be really concerning for the Palni Tuskers because if you look uh, relatively, it's their raiding front that is way more stronger than the defence and seeing their raiders falter early on could uh, go on to haunt them but I'm sure uh, they will hold on their nerve but uh, kudos to the Aravali Arrows, you know, starting off very strong especially on the defensive side. Uh, the one raid point came in their first raid but after oh, that yeah. Nidhi will get a point in her second raid. Very nicely done Nidhi Sharma. There was no doubt there as she gets a point. And also the timing on the ankle hold, isn't it? That is not the way how you have the body posture. There, you are almost half up and then you want to suddenly bend. You're giving away a big uh, message to the uh, raider that you're going for the ankle hold. And Nidhi, yeah, she's smart enough to receive that message. Yeah, there, Deepika next to her is uh, Rakhi Tower. Whenever it's needed, she'll come on. But Satya will first want to get that first point away. For the Palanitas, because it's the big eliminator. And if they win this, they go through to play the uh, Himalayan Tars, the winner of this match. And also, uh, probably uh, just get uh, a confirmation of a medal. That is what is more important. But uh, not even a single point yet for the uh, Palanitas. Super tackle situation. First up, Renu Deshwal, I'm sure, will be very uh, keen not to get tackled and probably wipe it off. Yeah, nice. Couple of points. Again, the ankle hold is not the strength of Maidili. We have seen every time Maidili falter in the ankle hold. And once again, that's another confirmation. Yeah, I think uh, this is going from bad to worse early on for the Palni Tuskers. You know, they're not able to even let alone establish themselves in the match. It's uh, a situation wherein they're trying to make their presence be put through. As we look at them, trail by six points down to their last uh, Raider here and uh, Subhiksha comes clutch for them, gets a massive point. point yeah, having the fourth Raider in the lineup works, isn't it? Subhiksha Mary. Yeah, right corner, Muskan with that first point was brilliant against Katija. But now there again, sending uh, the WhatsApp message very soon to Subhiksha saying, OK, listen, I'm coming for the ankle hole. Nadia on the right of our screen, Jeba next to her. All concerned faces and they have somehow avoided the all-out. But I would have said, you know what, bring in a defender instead of Katija. Katija is out there saying, oi, 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 she will not go in for the tackle because she's a raider. And yeah, she should have just One point, brought in a defender. Just yeah, they have out. Narmada there on the bench. She could have come in and they do definitely have uh, Viveka Ravichandran. They had Suji also. But Subhishka and uh, Katija, both Raiders, no substitution. Yeah, that's what, see, Nadia and Jeba, they need to think on those lines very quickly. And yep. for this JSG Women's Yuva Cup D Series, we don't have that uh, rule, right? Where in the men's, we had that little bit of a rule for every match. Falling and touch. First up, nothing from Shushma. She knew that this will come in from Katija. Uh, Shushma stayed back. But not this occasion. Renu Deshwal, come on. Couple of points she's claiming. And yes, couple of points. And Katija, that is why she is considered as the hero, rather the lioness of uh, this Palani Tuskers. She's gone ahead and saved the all-out. Last player standing. Renu Deshwal shouldn't have done that one. Yeah, Katija has uh, been a massive find for the Palani Tuskers. You know, she's had a lot of moves in her armory. Of course, the falling anta is something we discovered this edition. You know, it's something we all learned. Now the super tackle is on. Nidhi Sharma will come in and it's not a hostile environment for her. She goes on and gets points in such situations. Will she do so? Oh. No. no, she won't. A big tackle point here for the Palni Tuskers. A good comeback for them as they get the better of the Raider. A couple of points, a super tackle for the Tuskers. Yeah, Clovia active tackle as well. Lovely as Jeba is just trying to send Nadia for the quick talk. And what was more nice is Neha coming in and changing the direction of Nidhi. Look at that. It definitely is the Kabaddi Kamal moment. Sneha very, very intelligently turning the direction of Nidhi towards the lobby and making sure Nidhi did not even have a sniff of that midline. And uh, via that super tackle and uh, getting themselves saved a couple of times from the all out, Palni Tuskers are now kind of getting a momentum and a hold on this match as Prachi Be Benival comes in. A roommate. Remember of Nidhi Sharma, she wants her roommate back on the mat very soon. Very close friends, both of them, both in the Rajasthan Police. 
Rajiv Benival and Nidhi Sharma, even in the hostels, they share the rooms and even here they are sharing the rooms as well. As a verbal warning from Akshay Desai, saying, okay, ladies, hang on, I know it's a pressurous match. <laughs> I wonder what did Akshay Desai understand because the conversation would have been in Tamil. <laughs> Probably he would have just said, ah, I know you're discussing something in Tamil, but don't do it. We look at uh, Pali Vasco's rate, success rate, and it's 40%, it's one star. I think that's because uh, not all their raiders have, you know, attacked in one game. You know, sometimes you have a game where one raider gets. Uh, yeah. Going pretty well, gets a lot of points, but they've not had that game where all their raiders come strong, you know, and score points uh, collectively. So I think Correct. that is one of the reasons as to why they haven't got that, uh, you know, better rating or a better start with regard to their rating front. Yeah, no doubt about that because that's the question I always keep asking Maidali, saying once a player does well, there is no consistency. Oh, do what I read. Shushma, did she save herself inside the end line? As Kanchana Ravi has gone in too deep, she's gone in too deep and she crosses over. Couple of points. Shushma and Manpreet both out on the bench. First up, she saved herself very nicely, Shushma. But then she had that angle to go for the ankle hold, ran. Nothing wrong there. Uh, but the only point Timeout. is the height Pallira of Kanchanaravi getting her through towards the midline. As there's a timeout. Let's listen to uh, Nadia. <laughs> You know what she said? She said, uh, don't go for the angle. Bonus pona poto, keela adichira kudade. That means don't attack her on her legs. It's a do or die raid. It's okay. We will get the all out. Don't reduce players on the mat. That's what Nadia has told her. Yeah, and exactly the defense does the same. They are not attacking her. They're letting the bonus line open. He says, go for it, Prachi Beniwal. Go back. We will inflict the all out maybe. And Satya runs in. Right. For a super tackle situation. Oh, smartly done by Satya now. The super tackle is on. And the Arabili Arrows can get a couple of points here. No, they can't. Satya will make things level once again. And the Palni Tuskers playing smart here. They seem to have the upper hand now. Yeah, the Erode Shakti Brothers is, uh, club will be really happy with Satya's efforts. Left Raider runs in, left hand stretched out. And Prachi Beniwal in no position to have that tackle as there is. A brilliant, brilliant substitution. Yeah, this is what I was trying to say. Raki Tavar comes in. Nice thinking from Deepika, the manager. She's thinking like a coach when Sohan Lal is not around. Because Raki Tavar is a very, very good raider. Gano being taken off. And uh, time here for Raki Tavar to be a heroine for uh, their own team. Yeah, because she can do it. If she saves the all out, nothing like it. Her brother Sachin Tower definitely will send an appreciation message very soon. First it will come from me, then from her brother. Will she get it? Will she get it? No! Diving ankle hold from Sneha. Bonus, yes. All out inflicted. Polony Tuskers Ryan coming back once again from the uh, back door into this match. Yeah, and the way they've done it spectacularly. Kudos to Subiksha in the previous instance, you know, when she was down as the last person, she went in and got that one point. After that, she went out and then came uh, uh, Katija who went in and got those couple of points. Those were the two instances when they got saved from conceding an all-out and they've come back and inflicted the all-out on the Aravli Arrows to take the lead by two points here in the Eliminator. This is what we want to see here in the JSG Women's UR Kabaddi Series. Yeah, totally, totally, no doubt at all. And now Katija, she will only try and be on the mat, is what the discussion she's generally had, saying the more I be on the mat, the team's confidence is high, very true. With his first uh, raid, she was tackled out and then she came out there, saved the team from the all-out, no bonus. And Deepika, good inclusion to bring in Raki Tava, but uh, was not able to save the all-out as Nidhi Sharma now. I'll tell you what, Ran. The Aravli arrows. A lioness's roar is okay, but a wounded lioness's roar is more dangerous. That's the kick. Uh, that's the wounded lioness. He was just pounced on Lokeshwari. Yeah, the smartly done. She went on that left side, took the challenge, and uh, Nidhi is one such raider who the Palni Tuskers will have to tackle out if they want. Uh, to get the better of this game as Kanchana Ravi comes in next for the Tuskers. Oh, and yeah. looks like she's got the point. <laughs> Nicely done. Kanchana Ravi wait, wait. continues the scoring 
for the Palni task cause we'll get a confirmation on how many points it is but yeah, nicely totally. done as Manpreet will go there and stand on the lobby probably Akshay Desai is thinking whether there was a bonus yeah let's go back and see that replay Akshay Desai and uh, Sagar Panchal will discuss in Marathi we will discuss it in English <laughs> let's see if the bonus was there yeah that is what he wants to discuss first yeah that is the only okay. thing yeah bonus, bonus plus two super rate that is what Akshay Desai was trying to discuss with Sagar Panchal bonus given and the, the carpenter's daughter, I should say, Kanchana Ravi. Mr. Ravi is a carpenter there in Ramavaram, Chennai. He will be a happy man because he's given uh, Kanchana the big, big support. Definitely Kabaddi Kamal moment. And the big support of just going out there and enjoy Kabaddi. Because you know what, uh, Ryan? Most of the other players have uh, discussed about and spoken to, to a lot of stories that's coming out. As we all know, as Nidhi gets the hand touch on the covers. Maidali needs to go out. out. Yeah, the constable, of course, from uh, Tamil Nadu Police via sports quota. But apart from the most of uh, uh, the players, what I've heard from the Tamil girls mm -hmm. is no pressure from uh, from anybody in the house because they're not wanting these girls to just get a job somewhere in the sports quota, do something in their life. No, they just want them to play. Oh, ankle hold, Manpreet, the Thane Dani. One That's what we call her, the station head, the SHO, does a bit of what has to be done much, much prior. I know, what a, what a brutal ankle hole there. It's not like the usual ones that we see. And uh, definitely, you know, a uh, big, big moment there. The way she went and picked up the ankle, I'm sure nobody saw it coming. I don't think the spectators saw it coming either. Totally. Yeah, Deepika under pressure. So she has to maintain what Sohanlal would have told her and also think about something on, uh, on the toes, on the move as well. Because uh, they don't want to get eliminated here. They want it to play the Himalayan task. Diving ankle hole, Lokeshwari and Sneha's combination. The first standard yeah. friendship, one Ryan, one is working out <laughs> like you are my elder brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Just take a look at that once again. We love to see when, you know, two players click like this, you know, and especially knowing their backstory, this is just beautiful to watch, you know. Right. And I'm sure, you know, these two students in first standard in class, I don't think they would have envisioned themselves, you know, in yeah. such a big platform combining to get such a big tackle. Yeah, totally, totally. And also, as I was saying, Kanchana Ravi and anybody, no player has been told in their house that, listen, via sports you need to go find a job for yourself no nothing no pressure they are all happy because they come in from a little bit of a kabaddi background because one or the other way oh pursuit pursuit kanchana ravi was looking at one the point. bonus Arale, not Arale. given Let and what a out. smart move real smart move this from the pursuit i think we'll have to get her yeah yeah kanaka teril yeah that is what nadia is saying rajini very smart move to get the big raider out Oh, and the reactions from Nadia was priceless again. Yeah, Jebba also. Yeah, bonus a yilla there. That is what our lip is saying. Look at that. Yeah, some dubbing skills of mine coming out. Bonus a yirikala. Why are you waiting? And uh, yeah, even if there was a bonus, the pursuit is allowed. I'll tell you that. Oh my God! Manpreet wanted to go for the solo tackle. And uh, Katija's height actually turning and making sure her legs went through towards that midline was good. Nice turn here, Ryan. Now watch this. Yeah, there, her height making it uh, easy for herself. Three-point lead now as we slip into the last one minute in this first half. Renu steps up for the Aravli Arrow. She's gotten the better of the Raiders in the previous instances, but she's also equally gotten tackled out. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see what she does here. Once again, trying that uh, similar attack on that left side of hers, attacking the right oh, corner yeah, yeah. there once again, just like the one first point. trade. Arale, Could Arale. this be your deja vu? Could this be one more Let point? Yeah, right. And uh, the, the error once again from Sneha Review. on that right corner was uh, confusion in the mind. Because whether she has to stand up or no, stand up, no, there was a confusion. And they want to review this. Aravli Aros saying there was a bonus point first. Yeah, one review per half. They can exercise Review this one. Aravli Aros challenges bonus point. Adi season, only one point. Please review. Yeah, it's a simple review for the bonus. As the TV umpire will have a clear look at it. But Ryan, tell me. Uh-oh, that was a rollback of sorts. Yeah, they're going in for the review. 
Ganeshri Joshi will want to see fair. I don't think so. There was any attempt. Because the chief quickly went in for the touch point very soon. Oh, that's not good. Katija, I think, has got a little bit of a, a nosebleed. Review unsuccessful. Only one point. Aravli Arrows lose the review for the first half. Ah, second half, Sagar, we have a review in the summit round, remember? Yeah, so we do have a review coming up in the second round. But yeah, there was... Ah, there, she was cutting the bonus line. Yeah, yeah, and look at Nadia and Chepa in the background. She says, no, 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 no. Both of them said no. Yeah, that is what the support you need. Like the support we get from the house of uh, having no pressure of getting a job via Kapati. Just go out there and play. If the job comes in, let it come in. Ryan, tell me how important that is. You know, you're just going out there and expressing and enjoying yourself. And your peers are actually just supporting you, saying, don't worry, my child, go out there and enjoy. You've got that support from your places as well or anybody that you know of. This basketball you play, do they take basketball players? The Indian Railways or Polis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. They do. As the half time has been called, and we will definitely get back on that discussion. As a two point lead for the Palni Tuskers, they've come through very well. They had a very, very shaky start, but they've held their nerve here in the Eliminator and showed us why it is very important, you know, to hold your nerve in an Eliminator game like this. The previous okay. history does not matter. Nothing matters here as the Eliminator, Eliminator game. The stakes are high. You need to be strong. Yeah, as you very correctly said, look at that. First three minutes, it was not just shaky. They were just walking on thin ice. They were like uh, they were about to drown down any sooner than at fifth and the sixth minute, and then came Subish Kameri's uh, you know surprise surprise raid where Muskan made that error, and then Katija came along as a big savior of the team. She once again made sure at the eighth minute the team escaped the all out, and then it was all a takeoff for uh, the girls in green as it goes away after the eighth point. But yeah, very nicely done. If the uh, summary will be seen, you will see. The number of attempts from the Aravli Arrows on the defense side will be more and uh, less conversions. Yeah, the rating is good. Nidhi and uh, Renu Desh will have done well. Nidhi Sharma and Renu Desh will. But the only problem is that number of attempts. Yeah, there you see 12 and converted 3 and even the Palni Tuskers have done well. But the only thing is where they've got that super tackle going in. Kanchanaravi, Kanchanaravi at both sides. Yes, why not? The <laughs> second time this is happening. We saw this previously as well where Pushpa was also the best raider and the best defender of a match. And yeah, that's why Kanchanaravi is there. Because she was, I think, in that super tackle where uh, Sneha came in and changed the directions of Nidhi. Yeah, the carpenter's daughter will be really a proud, proud daughter as well. And also, you know what? Kanchanaravi's favorite actor, Ryan, is Danush. He does a, a lot of oh. things, like an all-rounder. <laughs> As you take away this uh, zone-wise breakthrough for uh, Kanchana Ravi. She's done well. She's gone in, inside that left corner and all along the bonus line. Yeah, you're speaking about uh, the support system. Now, how important that is. Yeah, I think in, in any aspect, you know, when, when you have your own family or your peers, you know, telling you not to worry, about it's equivalent to you doing your studies and your parents telling you you know focus on this one thing that you truly love and that is always there in the back of anyone's mind wherein yeah, uh, we that want to get into a particular aspect as we look at both these coaches mm -hmm. you know we have one uh, captain who's taking the duty of a player coach who's uh, putting it across to the team as well as the coach on the other side for the Palni Tuskers vigorously telling their team what to do. This is the crunch moment as the last 15 minutes will decide the fate of one of these teams. You want to go away and say that Shahrukh Khan's favourite line from Chakda India? <laughs> I'm putting you in the spot I as well. I can't say right? Satar minute but Pandra <laughs> minute as Nidhi here in the first uh, few seconds of it gets the better of the Palni Tuskers captain. Hey. Go for it, go for it, Ryan, go for it. I'm sorry that Nidhi got that point and interrupted you. I apologize on her behalf as mightily yeah, I didn't go back in time. But go for it, Ryan. Agle Pandra minute. Go for it. Ryan. Hello. I, I'm I'm still absorbing the fact that you put me in Shah Rukh Khan's shoes. It's a little too much for me to, you know, absorb altogether. Okay, as we Ryan. look go at Palni it. Tuska's uh, Rate no, success rate okay. now, it's 38. We, we can see that. 38% rate success rate. Yeah, we all know to read English, we will read it. But you go for the dialogue, come on. <laughs> come on, Pandra minute is now become... Not... What, it's become 14 minutes now. Come on, Ryan. Pandra minute has gone away. 
14 minute okay i'll give yeah. you that 14 that's what 14 is called in hindi go for it it's now sare 13 minute guys <laughs> <laughs> <As>, uh, <laughs> ah, right couple of points for nidhi era era there from logeshwari and satya did not have to come in just one point though just i think logeshwari was uh, faking that attack yeah there and then oh satya not holding herself back yeah, 13 13 minute my god where did you google that one no no i mean i did score more in hindi than english in my uh, icse <laughs> so of course you know the the knowledge with hindi is always there it's okay, just uh, the bit of hesitancy okay what is 16 plus 16 called in hindi see this is where <laughs> this is where the problem comes <laughs> Okay fine let's leave it at sola or sola right okay 16 plus 16 is what is 32 so yeah what was that right yeah. but this maybe yeah, i think but this but now <laughs> as the si walks in nidhi sharma super tackle situation katija has gone in for the tackle and yes wow. they will probably combine forces together fabulous super tackle logeshwari subhish kameri everybody contributing to that tackle from katija second super tackle for uh, the singapore nays hey, what is singapore nays by the way come. in tamil jesse number 1 please come jesse number 1 will probably get a green card no is it holding. no neck holding verbal warning only yeah subhish kameri is just holding her uh, nose together but what a tackle wow look at this definitely kabaddi kamal ka moment that's coming in from your top raider and even more appreciable and ran yeah what is singa penne yeah i'm going to guess it is uh, lion women lioness your english lioness. come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the trophy well, they are fighting for beautiful looking trophy does, does that remind you of uh, some trophy that you have seen already as a do or die raid now comes in some big tournaments is trophy don't say which tournament say the sport Ankle hold. To what a red pressure, Ryan. Come on, let's show you the trophy once again. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I was just uh, again just made the small error of uh, not um, unmuting my mic. That's why I couldn't put across. But that does look like uh, one of the cricket uh, tournament trophies. Of course, I will not say the tournament, but I'm. I'm 100% sure it looks like one of the cricket ones and it looks much better than that I'm going to go ahead and say that because look at this it is so lucrative and I think that's why both the teams are playing their heart out right here because they have a glimpse of that trophy you know in that back of their minds in the back of their eyes so they are playing before the trophy they are playing for the trophy and that's why they are putting their all as yeah. uh, Rakhi Talwar now comes in for this particular raid and the super tackle is on for the palni tuskers will they get it once again we saw them get in a couple of instances and they just need to be and careful and very once again the palni tuskers coming strong rocky tries to fight a way through but it's not good enough yes i Number think rocky tower went outside i think so that's what they will discuss yeah beautiful effort no doubt third time in a super tackle situation and katija nice to see that she is getting involved in this as well both teams have the review sagar panchal and akshay desai and i think uh, pillu parker yeah he is there nice name pillu parker he comes in comes in from chatisgarh on the right most corner of our screen i was thinking they 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 first written his name as p parker I think what peter parker in the house says, no 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 it's not peter it's pillu <laughs> okay fine <laughs> take it now what is it akshay desai what is it One Raider point. safe. One point. Ah, oh. and Katija is not happy with that decision. Yeah, Pali she will get a green card. Jersey number twelve. Green uh, card. Jersey pulling. No jersey pulling. Jersey pulling. A silent, silent killer. I'll tell you, Katija. But sometimes she can be expressive as well. And there was some jersey pulling. Is it that? No, it was not Katija. Lokeshwari was pulling the jersey. Come on! Ah no, there, there! Oh, wow, yeah. beautiful decision from Akshay Desai. We can see this in the replay, but I'll tell you what: Sagar Panchal and Akshay Desai don't have the advantage of looking at the replay from the mat. I think even Dhanushri would have helped them from the TV umpire's post. She would have told them in the walkie-talkie, saying, "Listen, there was a jersey pull, my friends." As Achaya goes and steals away a bonus. 
Yeah, smartly secured there. Now Palni Tasko still holding on to the oh, lead, yeah. but on the verge of an all-out, and this is big, big great from Nidhi Sharma as she puts the Palni Tuskers down to one person once again. And Loheshwari couldn't find a way through there to get that stop, and it's Nidhi the Raider, so it's going to be a lot more difficult. Mm. And also, let us remind ourselves the green card rule that is there. Third green card will suspend the player from that match, and also one match next that they'll be coming in. There'll be a one-match ban as well. But yeah, one green card to Khadija, which is fine. I think uh, yeah, the flares are firing all guns across all around because it's an eliminator. And even in the previous match, we saw it is uh, Pushpa's aggression, the fiery, fiery Pushpa. Rajni comes across and uh, oh, 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 hang on, hang on. <laughs> it's a bonus and the all out. Yeah, Aravli arrows now striking back with some sharp arrows. Much needed all out. Zachaya was blinded in that turn. Man, ran. I'm sure in the previous match, uh, there was uh, so much fire around. But I'll tell you something. <laughs> you know, Pushpa, as we all go out there and uh, make it a sort of a storytelling, yeah, Pushpa flower nahi, fire hai, and all that. I'll tell you what, she does not like that. <laughs> I've discussed this. One point. With her in detail last evening. She just does not like that at all. But she says, yeah, if it is fine for some storytelling, is okay. But her very close friend, Bhavna, loves it. She says, yes, she is more of a fire than a flower. And sometimes her fiery attitude puts all of us in the soup. She almost got everybody in the soup in the previous match, trying to argue with the umpires. But yeah, give it to her. It was a pressure match. As now Katija with the kick on Prachi Beniwal. Yeah, very good uh, point there. And I think uh, this is where the Palni Tuskers need to hold on. I'm a bit uh, taken aback. I thought, I believe the, the coach should have taken a timeout, especially when they conceded that uh, all out. And right after that, the Aravli Arrows came in and got the point. And I think timeouts are often used as a means by coaches. Oh, yes, very much. Uh, that is the Jahan of the coaches, but look at the Jahan of Nidhi Sharma here. First, she scares away Sneha, coming in as if she will so come for the hand touch, and then she goes for the bonus. Nice turn from Kanchana Ravi. Stays back on that occasion, that right corner there. They have another. Oh, spectacular tackle. Active. Clovia, active tackle here from Shushma. First goes to the ankles. Ah, don't tell me she's uh, just hurt her shoulder with that. Support from Rajni came in a time. Oh, she's not able to lift the shoulders up. JSS Physiotherapy College of Mysuru will come in. Oh, she's not able to lift it. Little, little dislocation maybe. That is what it looks like as the lecturer comes in. I think his name is Mukun, if I'm not wrong. He comes in and takes care of it. Dash! Phenomenal! Nidhi Sharma dashed out. Ritter out. One point for Litaskar. Very big dash, a strong one, a big point for the Palni Tuskers. And because they are trailing in the second half here, it's important that they get these points. And more importantly, sending Nidhi Sharma back to the bench because this will contain a lot of raiding points and put some pressure on the opposition. And that's what the Palni Tuskers need to do here. We can see the prayers, the signs of prayers and hopes all going up because it's a three-point game. Achaya. Now we'll have oh. to get the point here. Oh, the Aravli Arrows staying go, go strong on. in this game as well. They get the better of Achea and they will revive Nidhi immediately. Yeah, totally. Good revival there. Because you want to keep that momentum going in. Manpreet, once again, the captain goes for the ankle hold where the Raider does not expect it at all. At yeah, least uh, number of times that you see an ankle hold coming in from a cover defender. As a Raider, you generally don't have that at the uh, at your back of your mind. As Shushma comes in. She can be a Raider as well. Yesterday she did it against the Murtal Magnets. Good cover defender. I think her right uh, shoulder is okay now. And diving ankle holds. Sneha. She Get saw out. it was uh, point, a pendulum down. sort of a footwork from Shushma. Very similar. Jump in, jump out, hop in, hop out. She says, yes, when you hop in, I'm going to grab onto you. <laughs> there, look at this. Couple of times. And there. When she was not moving around. Nice timing, very nice timing. And also she would have done uh, Krishnaveni, madam, her first coach. Very proud, but here. Yeah. Bonus point, Palli 
Take that from the right flank. Bonus, yes. Nice tackle. Yeah, back to back. We're getting to see tackles coming time and again throughout this game. And the Aravli Arrows won't mind this altogether mm. because they still have that three-point lead and they seem to have that bit of confidence coming into this game. If yeah. someone needs to do something, it is the Palni Tuskers. They need to take the initiative one way or the other if they want to come back into this game as we will head to the last five minutes of uh, this Eliminator. And it's going to be the last five minutes for one of these sides. Not quite sure if it stands this way, it's going to be the Palni Tuskers who will uh, succumb to the Aravli Arrows. Raki Talbar with a big radio. Mm. Nadia would have been shocked by that move from Logeshwari. Again, a wrong timing on the ankle hold. Raki Tower, she's very swift, very good. A strong uh, escape as well. Yeah, Nadia and Jeba both understand the importance of this match. As Katija walks in, four point deficit. And also, I'll tell you what, more importantly, Katija is the one to make it sure. Oh, Manpreet, until then, she was good. The inspector, the SHO, was nicely tackling away a couple of tackle points for her team, but wrong timing for Arav Liaros to lose their captain. And Katija once again turns things around. It's just because of Manpreet's wrong calculation. And look at the look that she gives to Manpreet. He's saying, OK, I've done it. Leave my leg. Oh, smartly done. Very smart. Action of play by the Aravli Arrows went for the bonus, so they've gotten that point. Didn't have to risk getting tackled, and that's what we love to see from uh, the good, good, experienced Raiders. You know, when they develop what happens oh. in that game, they come out strong. And a technical point for Correct. the Aravli Arrows, but they will compensate immediately. One point each. Uh, yeah, but the Palni Tuskers can't review this because that was a big jersey pull that came in. It was a big jersey pull. Yeah, Satya's jersey is completely off. There you go, ankle hold from Prachi and also Muskan was going off and look at that. There, Shushma. Jersey was pulled away. Should have noticed that one, the Palni Tuskers. They could have gone in for the review there. Yeah, Dhanushri, of course, the TV umpire. But uh, yeah, they did not exercise that one. One review per half, remember? Oh, Sneha. One point. Around Wrong around. timing. Six out. To probably uh, go for the tackle just outside the block line. And also not the angle. Ryan, what do you think? They should have probably gone in for the review for that jersey pull. Uh, Satya could have uh, been escaped because Kushi actually stepped out on that occasion and then Prachi went in for the ankle hold. Sushma came in with that sort of a block. Ah, nice tie hold! Kushi takes off Katija's uh, scare away for a while now. But I think because the ankle hold was correct, the jersey pull mm -hmm. did not aid in the tackle. Maybe that is why they did not... Uh, and probably give it as a jersey pull. Yeah, because the first attempt, the control was on the ankles. And Nidhi Sharma, a big super 10. A very big one because her team was trailing at one point. But she held her nerve and showcased her brilliance. And this is 11th point. Nidhi Sharma, take a bow. What a performance from her in this eliminator to ensure that her team will see through this match. As it stands, it looks like they will because they have a seven-point lead with two minutes remaining. Yeah, nice stretched out hand. Another Jackson. running hand Jackson. touch, Nidhi Sharma. Jackson, substitution as Subishka Mary comes in. The need Raiders as Maitali has been taken off. Under two minutes, Subishka still rubbing her nose. I think that impact is still there. But Kanchan Aravi, she's done it before with a super raid. She needs to now desperately get points. But Shushma will say, I hold and they will pull her back, is it? How many points? Only one. 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 Thankfully, the Arab Liaros do not fall for that trap. She was touching the midline and struggling to cross over. Only one point, though. Yeah, I think the Arrows were smart in that instance to not uh, unnecessarily go in and get involved in that raid because they might have given those multiple points and they can afford to give away one point. So, from here on, it's just going to be strategy and... Smart play for the Ravli Arrows as Nidhi will step in and she's got uh, the calibre to stay composed in such situations. And she should stay yeah. composed. Yes, she will. She stays composed, waits for the defender who wants to get a point to create the error. And the Ravli Arrows trying to cruise through. Mm, definitely cruising, no doubt. 
as defensive wolves come back to again bite the Palni Tuskers today because they've done well in a couple of uh, super tackles, that's it. But the uh, overall tackle points is uh, generally low, especially in the second half where they should have got a couple of points leading in the first half and then giving it back. Nice ankle hold. No Get footwork up. from Kanchana Ravi. One point, Araule, and I think now yeah, it is uh, definitely going down the hill there for uh, the Palni Tuskers. Yeah, Gyanu, look at the way she covers the angle, goes for the uh, ankle hold. Nice one. Now, what has now Nadia got to say? Let's listen to her quickly. Okay, right. No, very clear strategy. I'll tell you what, they will first try to go for the all out. So, Unless and until there is a touch, that's what she's told. Until they touch you, don't go for the attack. That's what they've told. And after that, in the raid, you need to get that bonus and the touch point very soon is what uh, the raid strategy is. Until they touch, go and go for it is what was being told. Satya, come on, come over and change the direction. Oh, there were a couple of instances where she could have done it. Shubishka, first of all, did not go and uh, execute what Nadia told. Unless and until they come for the touch, don't go is what was being told. They should have escaped it, but Satya could have changed the directions. Yeah, but I think True. that is the uh, that is the last flower on the photo frame for this edition for the Palni Tuskers. No bonus, bonus plus one, plus is it? One yes, bonus plus one. Still staying afloat. But I think the photo frame is getting ready. You know why they call that photo frame, Naren? <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, I'm actually not too sure on the specifics, Naveen. I'm going to let you go ahead and put that through after this. Challenge is no bonus point. Our decision, bonus plus one point. Please review. All right, as uh, they're saying, oh, it's a reverse way of bonus. Good eyesight, I think, there from Manpreet, the Thane Darni, actually going out there and saying no bonus. Yes, it looks like no bonus. Only the touch point because it was the reverse way because the trailing foot was landing first and the leading foot, yeah, Manpreet. Fabulous because no coach. Yes, uh, yeah, of course, Deepika would have supported them nicely. Uh, Nadia now has that uh, little bit of a dullness coming through her face and also with Jeba. Yeah, I'll tell you what, when you say you successful, successful one only point, one point, no bonus, brilliant. Point. When they no say... When they say that, you know, the, when they go for that photo frame and go for that, uh, you know, final rights, that is what it looks like, you know, where the flower comes in. Mm -hmm. You have that re memory, yep. remembrance. That's what we always say. Nidhi Sharma. <laughs> and can they get in that super tackle? Yes, Satya. It's a super tackle. Super tackle. Yeah. She should have done this prior. Satya, this is what she yep. should have done earlier as well. There was that opportunity, Ryan, isn't it? I think now there was definitely, no I think holding. not the train, the flight has also taken off. Yeah, I think even in the previous instance, it was a more difficult situation for the Raider. And uh, nevertheless, she will come back once again, six points into the last 30 seconds. And like you said, Naveen, it looks like uh, the journey is about to begin for the Palmini Tuskers, irrespective of what uh, happens in this raid. Satya here, can she escape that? No, she can't. And we can say game set match here for all the Ravali Arrows. And we will get to see them once again today evening. Yeah, correct. A yeah, nice tie hold from Gyanu. From that left corner, not easy because Satya has that speedy footwork. Goes out there and keeps her down. Brilliant work. Wonderful, wonderful exposure that has been given here for all the women players and they have grabbed that opportunity both hands, isn't it? As Katija has been taken off, finally, there's one substitution that's come in. It's a big time coming in, I should say that, because uh, Muttu Priya, yeah, she is uh, one very emotional girl, I'll tell you that. She wanted to play well for Kabaddi. She's done well wherever she's gone ahead and played. But yeah, Muttu Priya will get a chance and uh, Will they stop Rocky Tava? It's a big struggle. It's a jersey that's come off. But even then, the ankle hold is firmly gripped. 
It's a super tackle. Yeah, it should be. If the previous one was not a jersey pulling, this is also not a jersey pulling. Akshay Desai will probably just go in and discuss. Rakit Tawar actually struggling away, saying, yeah, I will want to escape that. But Muttu Priya, this is coming from Virdunagar. Yeah, tackle. super tackle. Two points for yeah, fabulous. Three, please come. Nice work as uh, somewhere there will be a green card as uh, green card. they go back. Palni Tuskas from this. Muttu Priya comes in, makes her name felt and also gets a little green card for her. <laughs> <laughs> I want to review this, Banpreet. Come on, Banpreet. Come on. There's a medal that has been guaranteed and now you say jersey pulling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think Ryan, this is an opportunity for us to explain the correct impact of jersey pulling. Look at this. Sneha with the angle. So the jersey did not aid in the tackle. That is what it will be known as and seen as. As uh, Tanshree will be uh, there. And even uh, Raki Tawar was pulling Mutupriya's jersey. She stood up first. It wasn't the motion. The ankle hold was very strong. All credits to Raki Tawar for uh, putting up that brave escaping skills as well. Right, and they keep her down. And even on the previous occasion, there was that little bit of a jersey pull I was contesting for. But the first impact of the jerseys was not around as Muttupriya definitely had given, had been awarded a green card just for the instance after the first impact. That's what the rule is. But Aravli Arrows will play the Murtil Magnets. That is what it is. Correction, uh, they will go ahead and play the Himalayan Thars. Hope they play the Murtil Magnets. <laughs> but they will play the uh, Himalayan Thars first in the evening. That is what it is. Another big, big eliminator number two coming up this evening at uh, 6.50. We come to you. you successful. Successful. One point, Aravli Arrows. Okay. They give it as the jersey pull. Ah, right. Right, whatever it is, Raki Tawar is happy. <laughs> As Nadia wants to exercise the review. <laughs> For what, says Akshay Desai. Nevertheless, yeah, it's not going to matter a lot. But yes, Mutupriya, nice work from her. And Akshay Desai with a smile says, yes, it's Arav Liaros versus the Himalayan Thars. That's coming up at uh, 6.50. That's Ryan. I will hand over the commentary box to you. And uh, I will join you soon in the post-match presentation as uh, a big long faces of Khatija and the entire Palani Tuskers will go back I think uh, with a little uh, happiness and disappointment mixed together yeah they came into the summit round but uh, they wanted something better in the defence today not to be there but uh, congrats to Aravli Aros even without the coach Manpreet yeah happy happy faces as uh, she makes it another pick and a medal has been guaranteed now we'll have to see whether that will be silver or even gold as they face up the Himalayan Tars in the evening. Ryan, over to you. Thank you, Naveen, for joining us. As uh, we will look at this game right now, 38 to 30, and look at the chart of how things went through. There was a point wherein about uh, the 20 and 21st minute, you know, where things got very close among both the sides. But from there on, it was the Aravli Arrows who came back, tied the game. They got that all out of course and then they just continued to score points. Putting the pressure on the Palni Tuskers, you know, and uh, credit to the Aravli Arrows for coming back, you know, because I'm sure Palni Tuskers putting the challenge on very strongly would have surprised the Arrows, but they adapted to the game. That's where the importance comes in as to how you adapt to the opponents. And that's exactly what the Aravli Arrows did and they came out strong and uh, got the better of the Palni Tuskers. But the players from the Tuskers should not put their heads down. They put up a very big performance. As we will look at the summary, 22 raid points, 5 more for the Aravli Arrows. They changed the entire tide in both raiding as well as tackles, as opposed to the first half summary. One all out inflicted by both the teams, couple of extra points for the Arrows. And no super raid or super tackle for them, as they get the victory. Three super tackles for the Palni Tuskers, very nicely done. In terms of successful raids, Aravli Arrows, a massive difference, 50% more than the Palni Tuskers and successful tackles as well. They've gotten five more, so they've initiated the same number of raids as well as tackles. And it's the Aravli Arrows who've been more efficient and that's why they won this game. Four bonus points each and two successful reviews exercised by the Aravli Arrows.
so they have been smart and they've been strong and that's why they've beaten the team someone who's been very smart today is nidhi sharma she was the player to watch out for and she's fulfilled to that expectation 68% strike rate in her quest as she got 13 points and the second half she was very big for her she proved to be that player for them in the second half a lot of positive highlights for her as we look at her zone at the top you know between the box line and mid line just one point for her there majority of her points have come beyond the bonus line six in that uh, left flank there and the three on the right flank are very smartly done between the bonus line and box line one point each on both the sides so she likes to go deep she likes to go deep and put the pressure on the defenders and she's very good with her escape you know so that's why she goes in confidently all the way and uh, escapes the defenders very nicely as we look at the replays of uh, nidhi it's always going to be interesting to see how she gets past you know i think uh, she's been one of the most consistent traders and uh, you know when you do such things in a match like this that shows how good a player you are and i think we can see how nidhi will put her performance in the evening today because the game is going to be important a lot more difficult as uh, the team's done well she's happy and a victory for her side the best defender was sneha from uh, the balni tuskers seven tackles one super tackle a success rate of 57 more importantly there were a lot of important tackles that she initiated by herself and got those points for her team to keep them afloat you know because they definitely took the challenge on to the arrows they lost to them by 20 points in the previous encounter but this time they took the challenge and sneha played an important role so she was always there in that defense alive and roaring for her team and uh, yep that super tackle also this was a big moment for them and all together they have a good campaign sneha will finish with the uh, one best defender award as well for her in this game and road to the finals get a lot more interesting The Himalayan Tars will face the Aravalli Arrows later today at 7 p.m. The qualifier too, as it's going to be very interesting. The Aravalli Arrows survived not leaving today, but they'll have to play one more encounter to avoid that. And the Himalayan Tars will also ensure that uh, that does not happen. So one of these two teams will face the mighty magnets who haven't lost a game so far. they are so strong and so dominant they are they are waiting and i'm sure they will be watching this game live on fan code as well at 7 pm so all of you can tune in once again at 7 pm to watch that game live on fan code it's going to be very interesting the road to finals jsg women's uk kabaddi series 2024 is gotten a lot more narrower and it's just going to be one among the two between himalayan tars and aravalli arrows who will find their way against uh, the mortal magnet that being said do stay tuned for the post match presentation where navin is waiting so over to navin for the post match presentation yeah disappointing and happiness together isn't it disappointing for the palani tuskers because they have been eliminated out and happiness for the aravalli arrows even without their coach yes deepika was there her manager making sure alongside with manpreet they came out with very very good strategies they started off nicely and somewhere palani tuskers came back into the match but the uh, fag end of the match uh, went into the aravalli arrows as well and they will be playing the himalayan tars coming up in this uh, second eliminator in the evening but before we go ahead and talk about this match we want to first thank our partners the broadcast partner fan code healthy snacking partner flavor republic travel partner is my trip active wear partner is clovia pain relief partner hoop physio partner is jss college of physiotherapy mysuru and healthcare partner is mangalam plus mary city hospital jaipur and uh, alongside with us for this very crunch encounter that happened to give away the prizes we have swati pai once again thank you so much swati for making time for us once again the president of rajasthan bowling association as well and uh, yeah it is nice to uh, have swati around and also very nice now to give away that first award of this match yes it is the best trader award that is going to the si of rajasthan Is, yes she is the top raider here once again of Rajasthan and once again going in and making sure Aravalli Arrows name is on top Nidhi Sharma for her 13 points
Yes, she started off also very nicely and she just kept on going with the momentum, isn't it? Because Renu Deshwil did not go out there and get those uh, much needed points. Yes, Raki Tower came in for a bit of a support, but Didi Sharma, yeah, that is what uh, is all important for her 13 points. As uh, she'll be a happy, happy Raider after the check. She will also get a hamper there from uh, Hoop. As Swati Pai will award that to her. Yeah, hamper from Hoop as well for Nidhi Sharma. Wonderful uh, efforts today. The next award is the Best Defender Award. And that is coming in, yeah, for uh, that right corner defender, Sneha, who's done always very nicely for a high five of the Palanitas girls. Yeah, will be a little uh, disappointed just for a minor second because, yeah, her team did not make it through to the uh, podium finish. But yes, they will be happy that they have come in here with the sun also made a mark for themselves. Sneha will be receiving that Best Defender Award there from uh, Swati. And also after the tech, she will also get a hamper from uh, Clovia. Congrats, uh, Sneha. Yeah, I was just saying, come in next time and then do well the next time as well. But then the next award, a big, big one. This was more important because if this tackle wouldn't have come across, Katija would have actually just gone away getting a lot of points. Yeah, that's the Kabadika Kamal moment of the match award and that is going to Rajni Gulia. It was interesting, isn't it? Because Rajni Gulia did everything correct today. On that right corner, she made sure she attacked Katija from all fronts and she was not scared because Katija has that moment of turning and that falling hand touch that, that she does and she was not scared of anything. And after the check, she will also get the hamper from uh, Flavor Republic. Well, uh, we will... Uh, Say thank you to Swati as well for coming in again, Swati. Yeah, Swati will be joining us a little later as well. But come in, Rajni, Gulia, aye. Pehli chiz to mubarak ho aapke liye kyunki aap ek podium finish, ek medal to abhi guarantee ho gaya. Himalayan tar se abhi agli bidne wali hai. Lekin aap yeh bataiye, Sohan saab ka nahi hona, coach saab ka. Aur Manpreet andar, kya kya baatchit ho rahi thi Manpreet ke saath aur aapke saath aur Deepika bhi bahar baiti thi. Kya kya discussion tha? बस यही बोल रहे थे दीदी कि बचना नहीं है मारना और मार दिया बस बचना नहीं मार दिया है और मारना है very good yeah that is very nice और जब आपका all out हो गया पहली बार और पलनी all out होने वाली थी लेकिन all out से बच गए दो बार तो आपका all out पहले हो गया तो वहाँ पे क्या था मनोबल आपका वो situation कैसा था रावली आरोज में उस time पे हमारे team पीछे चल रही थी और tackle defence की बहुत जरूरत है trading में तो point आ रहे थे लेकिन tackle नहीं हो रहे थे इसलिए tackle करने जो बहुत जरूरी थे बिल्कुल बहुत अच्छी बात है और वो tackle के बारे में भी बताइए pass आई है क्योंकि camera आपको follow करते करते पीछे जा रही है pass आ जाइए तो वो tackle के बारे में बताइए कतीजा का tackle बहुत बहुत important tackle क्योंकि लंबी है radar और आपका tie hold एकदम बिल्कुल perfect timing था क्या सोच की गई थी आप tackle के लिए बहुत दिल हाइट लूज की बहुत ज़्यादा है और लगातार बोनस ले रही थी इसलिए दीदी ने बोला कि इसे ये मतलब लंबी लीज के साथ अटैक करती है तो इसके